What's going on everyone? Uh, today I'm doing an unboxing video and full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by these guys, not sponsored by Amazon. This is completely a genuine, authentic unboxing video uh, and sort of reasons why I chose this model. And this model is a Sig Lent SDS 110 4XE 100 megahertz digital oscilloscope, four channels, standard decoder. Uh, I, I bought this on Amazon, it's really cool. Some of the things that attracted me uh, to this um, oscilloscope is that it, <laughs> the main thing is because I make YouTube videos, there's the ability to, basically there's a built-in web server, there's a Wi-Fi adapter if I went that route, there's a LAN port on the back, and there's a USB port on the back, which my guess is going to be for the, some command and control of this unit and for being able to um, download high-resolution images from what you see on the screen, which is going to help my videos and, and sort of what I do here is education of tube amps. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, I'm sort of making this up as I go. And another thing, I'm meaning the YouTube channel, of course. Uh, what's kind of cool is that um, th these have come a long way since my days in college. And my work has some, some outdated ones by comparison. So instead of bringing my tube amps into work, which I'm not supposed to do, and then also bring in home equipment. This is my next best thing. Um, I had the opportunity locally, side story, had the opportunity locally to buy a Tektronix four channel oscilloscope. It was like a $1,200 unit for 200 bucks. And I screwed up and I waited way too long. I inquired with a gentleman and um, he was like, yeah, it's still available, you know, 200 bucks, come and get it. And I sat on it sure enough it sold because 200 bucks for a 1200 dollars unit is a smoking good deal but i'm really happy with this it's brand new i know it's not going to be tampered with and the calibration uh is a calibration certificate which is which is awesome it does come with um four probes and some colored accessories so you sort of know which probe is is what one of the other main things that attracted me to this is that it's four channels so I'm gonna be able to take two tube amps side by side and be able to probe and see what the differences are between the two. So I made my steel string singer number two uh, point to point first. And the only thing I had to compare it to was basically YouTube clips on YouTube about, uh, from other people who have built the same amp, but it's still not gonna be a great evaluation, right? So then fast forward, I made the PCB prototype for Josh and that had a different tone to it. And I was trying to figure out what the heck was different. I mean, there's a lot of components that were different. Um, unfortunately I didn't have this oscilloscope when I had that amp in my possession. So, uh, I could have revealed a lot of the tonal differences if I had this. So I'm looking forward to sort of diagnosing issues, um, as well as learning about tube amps and where the signals are going, where, and what's amplified, what's not, uh, using a oscilloscope. And one of my next things is adjusting the, the phase inverter trim pot on the my steel, steel string singer um, and if i ever do like a overdrive special there that trim pot is responsible for sustain and trouble in the power section so uh, you can do, you can basically fine tune that by ear and i have the best of my ability but like to really really granular granularly fine tune uh i need more coffee um, it's definitely, you're going to need one of these. So, um, another cool thing about this is that it's got a decoder. I don't think I'll use it, but it's got LLC, SPIUART, RS-232, CAN, and LIN. The only things that make sense to me is RS-232. So if you're doing command and control using a serial cable to a, from a computer to something else, uh, you should be able to decode that whatever's on that wire using this unit, which is really cool. From uh, re reading the reviews, which are 131 of five stars, by the way, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, they, a lot of folks say that this is probably the, the least expensive unit that will do that sort of decoding feature. So they all re they give this one an immediate thumbs up just because of that feature. Uh, CAN is, what I'm familiar with is CAN bus in a vehicle. So if I want to, I don't know, probe to see what temperature my coolant is and see it on this unit. I guess that's one of the things I can do. Um, and there's a bunch of other 
things. It says 16 digital channels, which I don't know how that works. Um, but it's an option. There's a USB AWG mod module. Um, and then there's a USB Wi-Fi adapter for this. Which, so it's pretty cool. So I can connect this up to my network, I guess. Um, not quite sure all those features I'll be using, but it seems pretty stout. And again, uh, really great reviews, great price. I found this, if I didn't mention this already, 416 bucks, which is, seems to be the price of these fluctuate anywhere from 500 down to 416, uh, depending on the day. So keep a, a, a watch on here. Um, pretty excited. It looks like there's a HDMI output potentially here. It says sub S, subs, SBU S. Uh, I don't know. I'm learning as I hold this unit. So here's the unboxing portion of the <laughs> unboxing video. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you're new, welcome. If you're looking forward to this, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button.